Hello, my name is the Demolisher13, and today I will be showing you guys the third update to my self-expanding factory that utilizes the mod recursive blueprints, and it will be version 3.7.2 that I am uploading as of today. Now, without further ado, let's dive right into it, alright? Alright, so if we look, this is factor, er, Factory 3.7.2's version of Blueprint 1. So, nothing too unusual. And if we come up to 3.7.2, as you can notice, there are um, a couple of differences. If you were guessing pipes, you'd be correct. I have added a dedicated water and oil pipes network to the uh, whole system. Why did I do that? Well, first off, when I originally was building this, I didn't think I could do it. Second off, when I, the reason why I did do it was, well, I found out as much as I want, we cannot package water and, or barrel water and then uh, put it into a um, power or into a boiler or, or heat exchanger fast enough to really justify doing it. So that would leave us with one of two options of either using trains to get everywhere or using um, pipes. And I can almost guarantee you trains are more expensive than just throwing down uh, pipes everywhere. So with that with that down, um, let me show you where this really matters. In blueprints uh, 25 and 21, 21 is our power plant, 25 is our manufacture plant. Let me get the demonstration up for you guys. Alright, so now we got the two versions. If we look at the old version, we had a whole a uh, barrel emptying station for every power plant. And the idea here was we put in some failure conditions that if we weren't getting water or fuel, that the plant would fail and move on to the next script. Uh, or the next blueprint. All right. The only problem is the amount of water this thing needed to ship in almost defeated the purpose of making the blueprint because of all the power it took to power all the elect all the logistic bots. So this was a bit of a self-defeating system. If we look at the new one where we're using the uh, pipe network, we no longer have to ship in the the water, we just have to ship in the fuel, which is a lot more uh, fuel efi a lot more power efficient. And the failure conditions are still in there, but they're only monitoring the fuel now, not the, um, not the uh, water. As water is an infinite resource and fuel is not, um, eventually we should run out of fuel or it will just take so abstractly long to ship fuel from the edges of the power or of the whole factory to uh, the internal plants that these will shut down and continue to move on. Uh, we have our traditional uranium processing plant. And then we ha have our, our uh, nuclear power plant, which again um, can get water from the system. I'm not entirely sure how many of these things I can hook up per side. I know each of these corners or each of these squares can hold like um, four connections to uh, in our uh, system because they do go through these four four water choke points where it's one square not two so I'm going to assume each side can hold about 1.5 plants so these two should be two sides should be able to hold three and then these two should hold another three. Sadly, I, so all I would have to do is add another two uh, steam boilers to really maximize it is my guess. Um, 
I, I don't know. That could use some actual testing. I am not too good at field testing these things, so if you guys would like to uh, give me some feedback on that, please do. And let's go over to our, um, pro our um, refinery or slash uh, assembly plant, shall we? All right, let's take a look at the uh, two factory types. So this is update three's factory. I was alerted that a lot of these stations were not programmed to uh, get the resources they needed. So I completely went back and redid all of them. Thank you for that feedback. Um, some changes were made. As you can see, we added stone furnaces, which are used to make the boilers for the power plants. I did not know that from the start. As you could still see, we were shipping in uh, liquids. Um, yeah, and the whole system was just getting clogged by that. New system with the pipes. Liquids are being pumped in, so here's our oil. Yay. These three plants can now operate at full efficiency. And then these three uh, are getting their water shipped in, or piped in, my bad. And then the coal liquefaction can occur more smoothly. So our, li our oil processing, all six plants should start running now, or at least a minimum of three. Um, Um, let's see, what else is there, um, well, I did some readjusting, we added a few more things, so, we had to add, um, what are these things called, pumps, to the pipe network to prevent backlog going into every test, um, every time we test for liquids in a sector. So now the pumps act like a one-way valve. So that whole assembly got its own dedicated line. And underground pipes got their own devoid assembly line as well. Uh, not a whole lot more than that. So ideally this would help change, uh, help make power more stable as well as the assembly plants. Uh, again, your feedback is very much appreciated and the more feedback I get, the better I can make these plants. So, before I head out, I had an idea. You notice how we have these two liquids running with, running with each other side by side? I was also thinking maybe I could add ores, but I'm not entirely sure. I could give it a try but I wouldn't know how to make the ores automatically go to the right place. So one idea might be we take a splitter with some of these. So we'd have all the ores run down to, I'm going to call this the resource lane. And then I guess so one would be here and then There we go. I, I'm not sure if this idea would actually work, but I could probably do something like this, where we just take uh, resources coming in, and they would go here, receiving a signal from, say, the, the grid, and the ores would only go down the one that would uh, have a uh, a factory in it, and then the other belt would just stop and continue on. But I'm not entirely sure on this. This idea raises more questions than answers. I could give it a look. Granted, I am working with a two by two space. So I'm not sure if it's fe feasibly possible at the time being. 
I think I get the rest of the brick here, yeah, so I might be able to do something. But the advantage of doing that would be less of the logistic bots moving around resources and more belts. But this also opens up the door for a complication, say, we don't know if something will be blocking the resources on this line. We just don't know. Um, I guess I could set up a little tester to make sure. Um, let's see, what else can I do? No, a whole lot. So yeah, that that is the update three point. I'm going to call it three point one, even though it's update three point seven point two. And I hope you all enjoy and have a good day.